Welcome to our sixth mathematic tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to solve nonlinear systems of equations using the Newton Raphson method. As we learned previously, the find root built in function utilizes the Newton Raphson method. If we wanted to use it to solve systems of nonlinear equations, the syntax would be find root, a vector containing the expressions and the respective values that they're equal to, and so on, and then a matrix with the variables and their initial guesses. When we're defining our own newton raphson method function, it's going to be important to recall how to use rules in order to evaluate expressions. Recall that when we have a function, let's say y is equal to x squared, we can evaluate it using a rule. So let's set x equal to 2. Shift enter. Alright. Now, let's say we have a multiple variable expression. So y is equal to x1 squared plus x2. We can evaluate it using a vector containing rules. So y with the rule where x1 goes to 1 and x2 goes to 2. Shift enter. We can even define the vector of rules separately. So let's set x rule equal to x1, which goes to 1, and x2, which goes to 2. And then y with x rule, shift enter, and we get the same answer. Alright, so this way of evaluating multivariable expressions using rules will be important for us when we're making our newton raphson method function. And the find root function will be helpful for us so that we can check our answer. In the next part of the tutorial, we'll take a look at actually programming the function.